Hi everyone, it's Charlotte here today and we're going to be doing a review of our Pets Play Hay House wrap. So this Hay House was originally designed by myself but I asked Dorothy and her husband if she would be able to make and paint it for me and they were more than willing to do that and they actually now sell these as just a, one of their standard items. So that means that you are able to easily get your hands on these. They come in piggy and bunny sizes. So the item is made of pet safe wood and is painted with pet safe paints. She, Dorothy hand paints it herself and her husband I believe he actually makes these structures so he did a really really fantastic job on it. We actually discussed the sizing in between the bars and again I will probably put that on the screen for you but I think it was around at most two centimeters or one and a half centimeters spacing which is really good for guinea pigs so they can't actually get their heads in and they can't get them stuck and there's no way they can get it out but there's enough room for them to put their mouths in and get out the hay. On first impressions, I am really, really happy with the hay house. If you have watched our pets play unboxing spring haul, then you would have already seen it there, but I wanted to do a video more in detail and because it's obviously a hay rack kind of dispenser thing that I thought it would be quite useful for some people who are looking to get new ones and such. So the reason I decided to get a new hay rack dispenser was because I was getting a bit sick of the hay bag. I found that the hay, you couldn't hold that much hay really and also it was hard for the guinea pigs to get them out so, and I wanted something that was going to be more of a permanent thing in their cage that was always probably going to be there unless I have their hay tunnel out. So this is the item that I obviously designed. I wanted to make it look like a kind of little house or kind of like a little barn or something but it's it's come it's come out so so well. They've done such a great job on it. This particular hay at rack house is a bespoke size custom made for my cage so I'm sure if you contacted Dorothy she'd possibly be able to make them bespoke for your cage size if you wanted it or she just does her standard sizes which are on her Facebook page. So here are some close-ups of the paintwork that Dorothy has done herself. It's really, really adorable. She's done it in like a florally kind of polka dot as well as a tiled roof on the top, which you can kind of see from here. You can get these in any colours, any designs. She is really, really easy to work with and so if you have a particular pattern you kind of want, then I'm sure she'll be able to do her best with it and any colours really so that's always great about buying from independent shops that you can get your items personalised so you could even probably get their names on it I'm not entirely sure if Dorothy does that but I wouldn't be surprised if she did so this is the great thing about buying from independent shops and is one of the reasons why I love Pets Play. I also just want to show you the attention to detail even on the front of the hay house I keep to not sure what to call it a hay house or a hay rack but she's got little flowers going down there as well as over there she's got some little polka dots with the daisies going along. It's all out of focus down there but it's really really adorable and all of the little struts like the little poles are painted white and the back is left but that's fine because the hay is going to be covering that anyway. The hay rack is painted on the back and you can see the back of the hinges there at the top. And I've also put the hooks on that, well, she supplied me with some hooks, but these are in white, so I had these already. I looked in our hardware, like our little drawer of screws and everything, and I thought these would go better, so I decided to go with these instead. But she does supply you some two hooks, and you just want, you can just easily hand screw them in yourself. So that's what I did with these, and they fit perfectly on the side of the cage. So the way the hay rack opens, is by the top by this little slanted roof so I'm going to lift it up for you now but this is just as easy as that and then this hinges back and keeps it there so you can easily put your hay in here and you can see kind of by the size of my hand how wide the entrance is it's a really good entrance and I can easily fit my hand down there and stuff loads of hay in but I'm now going to pop the hay feeder in the cage and fill it up with hay to show you how much you can get in there. So here you can see 
that the hay feeder does hold plenty of hay and also has access probably for up to three piggies. Mine might push each other out of the way, this is the problem with them. But um, in the new cage when we have the extension on I'm providing a bigger kitchen area so I'm going to have more spaces for hay and everything like that. So normally I would put a hay pile down with this probably but this is just for if they run out of the hay pile or they've peed on it basically and they won't eat it. So you can see that they're accessing it really really nicely and Arabella and Daphne were just then and Clara is apparently around the tripod because she's nosy. Here she comes. So there you go, you can see three piggies fit around it nicely. So yeah, it's a lovely size and I'm really happy with the amount of hay that can fit in it. So I probably will still get them hay piles with it just because they love to play in them. But I am very, very pleased on first impressions. It is painted really well, the quality is really good and the price is superb even with the postage and it holds a good amount of hay. The girls seem to like it, it's all pet safe for them. So I'm going to probably update in a week and for the next clip of this video and show you what my impressions are of it after a week so I can give you a completely like over time review really of it, not just a first impressions. But um, I'm really really happy so far and I would highly, from my first impressions I would highly recommend one for your guinea pigs or your bunnies so we shall see how we get on in a week and I shall speak to you then. So we're back from having the hay rack for over a week now. I unfortunately missed the day that was exactly a week but it doesn't really matter. So we've had longer to actually kind of trial it and everything. We've got obviously a new fresh cage since it's been a week and the girls are very very happy. I've just completely cleaned it out again but um, just not a full clean on the items. Just a clean on the litter and just sweeped up really well and changed out the microfiber pad but anyway so we've had the hay rack for over a week and I have to say I love it just as much as I did before it holds so much hay the access is really really great since it's from the top and the access for the girls to eat the hay is really really easy they can easily pull this out and it's not going to be difficult for them to eat so what I have this mainly for is just for like if they run out of their pile of hay if they peed on it or something like that because I do really highly recommend giving your guinea pigs hay on the floor guinea pigs are natural foragers so they do really enjoy having the hay on the floor and just laying in it and playing in it and you'll see from videos that my girls and from pictures on my Instagram that the girls love to just like bury themselves in the hay and with just if I just had this hay rack obviously they couldn't do that so I do recommend giving them a nice big hay pile which I will in a sec but also it's just really really lovely it's very very pretty and the price is very very reasonable the difference between the rabbit and bunny I'm not the rabbit and bunny the, guinea pig and bunny hay feeder is about two pounds or something and that doesn't seem very much so I think the price is super super reasonable you can get them in any kind of pattern you like obviously you've got to check with Dorothy she can do that first but I'm sure she can do a lot so overall I would highly highly recommend this hay house feeder and I would pop over to Dorothy's pets play page which will be all linked down below and yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to just show you the girls now. Yeah, is that yummy? So you really do like these little wooden toys that Dorothy makes. And you'll always see, if you see it, look at the bow. That's super duper chewed. And that's what they get chewed like. And this is the fresh new ones. So Clara's having a go. You can hardly see it, you can just see a little black puff. And Arabella is here. Arabella, hey. She's just there. Arabella, you're not going to show us your face. You pancaked. There she is. Now. Little Miss Daphne is here. She's just come up from her bed. Haven't you? 